must have been a few days after I hit 50, there was a um, uh, little kit came in the mail, I didn't know what it was, I opened it up and um, it was a bowel cancer screening program and I thought oh, I'll get round to reading that sometime. It must have been nearly 12 months. I did the kit, two days later I got uh, the results back saying it was a positive test. Wake up feeling older. I remember going into hospital, it was a, it was a day procedure. Knocked you out, did the colonoscopy, came back and waiting in the, um, the recovery room and um, I looked up at the bloke and said, oh, so everything okay then? And I remember his words to the day, to this day and he said, uh, well actually no, <laughs> was the words, it's, it's not okay. Being told sitting across a desk talking to um, my, my surgeon with my wife sitting next to him, he says, you've got cancer. It's a kind of a, a bolted reality of that, um, you know, this, this could be quite serious. I, I might not get through this. Obviously the most important thing um, is, is my family. I've got two young girls, so I was quite a, a late dad. And, um, and it wasn't very nice for me for, to see them, you know, coming into the hospital all excited about seeing their dad and daddy, daddy. And then they come in and see me with all these bits and tubes and things sticking out of me everywhere. It was, Pretty, pretty sort of scary and confronting for them, I think. The worst thought was seeing them and not having their dad around. That, that really, that, that was a horrible thought. Uh, after that, it was like, right, let's do what we've got to do. We're, we're going to get through this. Uh, and we did it together. The day before, even the minute before I was diagnosed, I felt fine. I actually felt perfectly all right. You know, there, there are risk factors. I mean, there are certain things people do or their lifestyles and things like that that, that can increase the risk. I just wasn't the risk. The, the screening kit finds things that you don't see yourself. That's exactly what happened with me. And that's the crux of it. You get it early, you can do something about it. You leave it too late. Perhaps it is too late. Wake me when it's over.